It is another opportunity here at Hope Channel Baraton that we continue with the program, The Journey to Ministry. I'm your host, Pastor Kiragori John, and with me here, I have some guests. But before they can say their names, I would like us to start with a prayer. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come to you once more again this precious moment that you have given us, that we can be able to share testimonies and stories of how you've been good to us. And now, as we get uh, to this program again, it's my prayer that your Holy Spirit will guide us all through. May you bless uh, my guest. May you bless the viewers and all those who are following us from all over this world. It is in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. And uh, I would like to say that uh, we really appreciate you every time, our viewers, watching this program. Uh, from whichever part that you are in. May God bless you so much. And now I want to allow my guests to say their names, and I'm going to start uh, from my right side. Uh, you can say your name, please. Uh, um, hello, everyone. I'm Danielle Kesare, and I'm happy to be here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you so much. Welcome, yeah. Kesare. Yeah. And this is Hope Channel Baraton. Yeah. The program is The Journey to Ministry. Mm -hmm. And now we also have an, uh, a guest, and I also want her to say, her names and uh, please. Hello everyone. My name is Brilliant Odero and I'm happy to be with you. Thank you so much. So thank you. Welcome uh, Brilliant and also Gesare on Hope Channel Baraton, the Journey to Ministry program. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we continue, I'm going to start with uh, Gesare. Yeah. Uh, please tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, mm -hmm. your journey uh, as a young, a young lady uh, like uh, how has your journey been to the place now you are here? Uh, being a lady in this society mm -hmm. can be hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can we, we can be mm -hmm. you can know who to look upon, All right. who to follow, which way to go. Mm -hmm. But the best thing that and the one thing that has helped me mm -hmm. is looking up to my grandma and my mom. Mm -hmm. They are my mentors. Wow. Yeah, I look up to them because uh, first my grandma also was a master guide mm -hmm. and she was also singing in the choir. Mm -hmm. So to me, she is an inspiration to me. Even when I talk with my friends, I'm like, I have to say hi to my grandma. Wow. Yeah, because every day I want to know how she is and how she is going on, how, how the life is. And also my mom, mm -hmm. also she's an inspiration to me. She's like a superwoman to me. We also, we all know that we have that thing we always say that our moms mm -hmm. are superwoman. Mm -hmm. And for me, that is a testimony that she is. Wow, amazing, amazing. May God yeah. bless you so much. That's thank very inspiring. Yeah, I believe you. even for the young ladies out there yeah. who are struggling to find themselves mm -hmm. in whichever that they are doing. Now, what about you, uh, Brilliant? Uh, please tell us a little bit about yourself and maybe how your journey has been as a young lady, as a young leader. Okay, growing as a young lady, mm -hmm. I've found out that it can be so challenging like to know who to look up to. And well, I thank God for the privilege to ha having been brought up in a Christian home, mm -hmm. And my parents have been very good examples to me. Mm -hmm. They've helped me in the, like, in my journey as a young lady and into growing up. And also, uh, my aunt, Auntie Beryl, wherever she is, hi, Auntie. She's been a great blessing to me in that she has also inspired me into uh reading a lot mm -hmm. and not just reading but reading good books mm -hmm. that have helped me in my spiritual life and also in other aspects of my life wow yeah. amazing so shout out to all the grandma all the mothers all, about also the auntie or what yeah, yeah who have inspired our young ladies to become who they are now may god bless them all mm -hmm. of course even our daddies yeah. <laughs> may god bless you so much okay. now um uh, Gesare, are you still in school or you are through with your schooling? Uh, I'm still in school. Oh, uh, where, where, where do you study? Uh, I study in the University of Eastern Africa, Baraton, mm -hmm. and I'm in my fourth and final year. Wow. Yeah, and all I can say is God's grace that I'm in my fourth year and final year. Wow, yeah. amazing, amazing. Yeah. So, um, like, uh, 
uh, are you which which course maybe are you doing at the university currently uh, i'm doing a major in development studies mm -hmm. and minoring in public health uh -huh. yeah Yes. That, that, that's amazing. Yeah. May God bless you so much. Yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes when people look at you, yeah. they may not really know exactly what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Just, but uh, the way you have spoken, yeah. now people know that this young lady here, yeah. who has been very inspiring, yeah. is also in, still in school, yeah. pursuing her dreams. And yeah. so may God bless you so much. You, yeah. So what about you, um, Brilliant? Are you through with school or you are still? Okay, well... Um, I'm studying in the University of Eastern Africa, Baraton. Mm -hmm. I'm in my fourth year and I'm doing a major in finance. Wow. Um, yeah. This is wonderful. So, you know, having young ladies who are also passionate about, you know, their, uh, you know, education, uh, you know, trying to find out what they can achieve in life is very inspiring. So if you are a lady out there and maybe... Uh, you want to join school, you can still do it. If you're a lady out there, you are doing business, or you are struggling in one way or another, they still hope for you. Because Gesare and Brilliant are giving us hope today that we can be able to pursue our dreams and make them a reality. So may God bless you so much. Um, now, let me ask you, uh, Gesare, uh, have you ever been a leader, maybe in your home or in now that you're saying that you're also in school mm -hmm. have you ever been a leader in your life or uh first i'm the first born in my family ah. so i think i am a leader to my sibling yes uh, who is in grade seven mm -hmm. uh, i think he looks up to me so to him i'm a leader uh -huh. and also uh, i'm currently i'm the student leader in mm -hmm. the university of eastern africa marathon all right yeah i'm the senator on campus lady mm -hmm. And I think that also is an opportunity for me to show my leadership skills. Wow. Yeah. So in one way or another, mm -hmm. uh, being the firstborn has mm -hmm. helped me uh, in building my leadership skills. Mm -hmm. And also being like uh, coming here and being mm -hmm. a student leader is yes. also sharpening my student leadership skills. Wow. Yes. So this is showing us that, uh, you know, even when you are a young person, you can actually become a leader. Yeah. Whether you're in school or you're doing business or you're already working, yeah. you can pursue your dreams, but at the same time be a leader yeah. like Gesare. Yeah. And may God bless you so much Thank for, you. you know, waking up to the role of Amen. being a leader. Amen. And Thank now uh, to you, Brilliant. Um, uh, just, uh, just now I've discovered that uh, in the life of Gesare, she has at least become mm -hmm. a leader in one or another. What about you? Have you ever been a leader in school here at the University of Eastern Africa, Baraton, or whichever setup? Okay, well, in Baraton, I've been a leader mm -hmm. uh, in the sense that I've been a leader in some of my classes, like being a class representative, mm -hmm. and also in church, mm -hmm. uh, leading out like in Beaconry. And mm -hmm. other than just here in school, at home, I've also been a leader. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, growing up, I've learned to be a leader of myself, first of all, mm -hmm. just to have self-government and uh, know how to run out my own things. Mm -hmm. And other than that, I have younger siblings who mm -hmm. also look up to me. So that has helped me to really develop leadership skills. Mm -hmm. It has helped me learn that I need to be responsible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. That's very lovely. And I just want to encourage, you know, the youthful people out there uh, that uh, we need to take up this leadership role. But it has to do with character, you know. It has to do with your personalities. It has to do with, uh, you know, you being a servant leader. Because sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, there are people... Yes, they may be leaders, yeah. but they are not servant yeah. to the mission yeah. that they are supposed to. Yeah. And I is my prayer that Gesare and Brilliant, you can learn to be servant leaders Amen. so that you can be able to serve in a way that God has called you. Amen. Now, uh, to you Gesare again, I want to ask you, you know, I've heard lately that uh, most youthful people, mm -hmm. they, they give up very easily or they don't even pray. Mm -hmm. What can you say about that? Do do the youth still pray or they, you know, they're just living their life just like that? 
I, I I don't know what the other youths are doing. Yes. But for me, being a youth and being uh, living in these trying times, mm -hmm. I can say that prayer is the best tool you can have at this moment. Wow. Yeah, because uh, there are a lot of things that are happening out here that us alone, with our human power, mm -hmm. we can't like we can't handle them. All right. Uh, I know it's it might it be be hard to pray maybe in the in the in in the experience you're going through yes but i encourage someone when you're going through the tough time and you kneel down to god in prayer mm. and humble yourself yes he will answer indeed he will wow. because uh for me it has worked mm -hmm. and it's it has always been a testimony that i prayed and mm. god answered wow yeah what, 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 a sh what a what a what an encouragement yeah, that yeah. uh indeed a young person yeah. a youthful person yeah, that whatever you want yeah. you can actually kneel down yeah. and make your request known to god yeah. and just like he answered Gesari's prayer yeah, yeah. he can also answer your prayer as well yeah. now a uh, brilliant uh, let me uh, let me also ask you. Uh, you know, uh, now that you are a young person, a, a young lady uh, who is very ambitious in life, uh, which is also okay. Uh, uh, I've heard also that uh, the youthful people sometimes they want things to happen very fast. Like if you want a car, you want it now. Mm -hmm. If you want uh, what else? If you want to maybe build, you want it now. If you want to, you know, have a good life, you just want it now. We are not patient with whatever we want. What can you say or what can you encourage our viewers, especially when we want these things, whether, you know, whatever that we want in life, that we can be patient and allow God to make it happen? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, with my experience, yeah. uh, being a youth sometimes, mm -hmm. We wish to have things mm -hmm. rush. We wish to have our life go faster. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we want something, mm -hmm. we just want it to be fulfilled right right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, at that moment. Yes. But coming to grow and face different experiences mm -hmm. in life, mm -hmm. I've been able to learn that sometimes mm -hmm. uh, we may want to have something, but that might not be the best time for us to have something to have that thing that we want mm -hmm. uh, sometimes god puts us on a waiting period to develop our character mm -hmm. yeah we may feel like okay i feel like i really want this thing right now mm -hmm. but god withholds it from us because he knows mm -hmm. maybe it's not the right time for us or if he gives us that thing at that time mm -hmm. it may not prove to be so much of a blessing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to encourage youths out there mm -hmm. and even any other person who you feel like uh, God is being slow in fulfilling your dreams yeah. and in doing, uh, in making things happen in your life, mm -hmm. just be patient, wait on the Lord, because when we wait on him, mm -hmm. things just fall in place wow. in the right manner Amen. without having to really mm -hmm. struggle. Yeah. Wow. Amen. Amazing. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And indeed, wait on the lord Amen. wait on wait, whatever that you want just wait on the lord mm -hmm. and now let me ask you brilliant uh, the way you've spoken very well has prayer played any role in your life in your journeys here in the institution or whichever part of life the wow. prayer life mm -hmm. wow prayer has played a very very crucial role in my life mm -hmm. here in baraton mm -hmm. and not just in baraton mm -hmm. even outside uh, i've come to learn that for most of the times mm -hmm. i've had difficult situations when i have prayed god has just given me a peace of mind in as much as sometimes uh, you may pray about something and it doesn't happen the way you want it to happen. Sure. But just that peace of heart and peace of mind, knowing that uh, God is there for me, it's mm -hmm. just a very fulfilling experience. Wow. And so coming to make friends who also value prayer has mm -hmm. also helped me a lot because mm -hmm. it has helped my f faith to grow stronger in God. Wow. Amen. Amen. That's, a, that's very lovely. And may God bless you for that as Amen. well. And now um, I would like also to say maybe there's something that you are going through as a youthful person. And the way our guests have listened to each of them and in their journey of fulfilling their dreams, 
they have they have, they have agreed that prayer has played a very major role in their life as much as they have mentors they are people they are looking up to as role model but also they have a lifestyle of prayer yeah, and like just someone tell me, told me that recently that uh, prayer is my lifeline may prayer also be your lifeline in which which whatever endeavors uh, that you are going on mm -hmm. now um to you gesare mm -hmm. uh you know there's something that people cannot argue with you mm -hmm. and that has to do with testimony mm -hmm. you know when we share our testimonies mm -hmm. it is us who knows what god has done for us mm -hmm. and so if there's something that is also very powerful mm -hmm. is when someone shares with you a testimony yeah. of what god has done in their life yeah. so do you have any testimony that you can maybe encourage mm -hmm. our viewers of what god has done to you maybe at the university yeah. or whichever part of life yeah okay thank you uh coming to the yeah. university of western mm -hmm. africa baraton mm -hmm. you know you can be a lukewarm christian all right you are your one leg is in the world yeah and you got, the, got other, the camera mm -hmm. uh, one leg is in the world mm -hmm. the other one is in the is in the church mm -hmm. uh but coming here uh i met i met like mm -hmm. i met friends who mm -hmm. encouraged me in faith wow. and also coming to church every day mm -hmm. listening to the word mm -hmm. as pastor mumbo says that that word that is talking to you every day it's mm -hmm. telling you give your life to christ give your life to christ Man. i was like wow this is like an inspiration to me mm -hmm. it's like wanting me to give my life to Christ mm -hmm. and uh I gave my life to Christ last year wow yeah during the week of spiritual verses mm -hmm. and it has been a change a real change in me mm -hmm. it has shown me what God has the plan God has for me in my mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. it has shown me the things that God do, do, doesn't want me to do the things that God want, wants me to do wow. it has really opened me to have to the faith that I didn't know I have mm -hmm. and that's why every day when you meet me and every time that I meet someone I'll tell them that faith is the victory wow. that anything that you you do in everything that you say mm -hmm. is that that faith that you hold within you wow. that will help you to carry cross as a Christian wow that's mm -hmm. amazing may mm -hmm. God bless what an encouragement mm -hmm. uh, to come especially from a young lady like mm -hmm. Gesare mm -hmm. and that gives us hope that if actually we can you know have that faith mm -hmm. in what god can do for us mm -hmm. even in our testimonies mm -hmm. then we can be able to be an encouragement mm -hmm. in our society today mm -hmm. may god bless you so much for your testimony and now to you brilliant i know also god has done so much very many things to you all great things and i know you can share with us so many uh, a lot of testimonies but we only want uh, you know a brief sharing of what god has done to you here in uh, uh, baraton or whichever part of life thank you uh, okay well uh, uh, coming to baraton mm -hmm. and uh, has been a really great blessing to me mm -hmm. in that i've been able to realize who really i am mm -hmm. I've been able to discover my purpose, my purpose in life. Mm -hmm. I remember one of the week of spiritual emphasis last year mm -hmm. by Pastor TK Mensa. It was mm -hmm. just one of the most uplifting moments for me. Mm -hmm. And the theme was come up higher. Mm -hmm. I felt like this was the moment of my life for me to come up higher. Mm -hmm. And it was at that time that I gave my life to Jesus through baptism mm -hmm. and I've seen him lead me through. Mm -hmm. So having just gotten that experience wow. and having to having learned more mm -hmm. throughout since my baptism mm -hmm. has really helped me a lot mm -hmm. and I've just been seeing God mm -hmm. leading through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, may God bless you so much, you're so brilliant. Mm -hmm. And I was also listening to the you know the way you are giving out your testimonies mm -hmm. starting from Gesare and now brilliant mm -hmm. and i've seen in your testimony the hand of god Amen. and that is the most important thing Amen. because as young people as youthful people sometimes god do for us so many things mm -hmm. but you find people saying like it is me who did this yeah. and we forget that it is the hand of god yeah. all through that journey Amen. and so may god bless you so Amen. much yeah. now gesare do you have a bible promise a bible a bible you know memory verse that you cherish yeah i have a memory verse that i cherish mm -hmm. i i i didn't know that it could mean a lot it's mm -hmm. it's uh philippians chapter 4 
verse 5. Yeah, it's maybe just, we can project it also for yeah. the viewers. It's Philippians chapter 4, verse 5. It's mm -hmm. just under the, the, the famous uh, Philippians 4, chapter 6. Wow. Yeah, but for me, it's Philippians chapter 4, verse 5. Mm -hmm. It says, let your gentleness be known to all men. Wow. The Lord is at hand. Amen. Yeah, it was a yeah. uh, it was a text that helped me a lot when I was mm -hmm. I was facing a really difficult time. Sure. I didn't know what to do. Wow. I didn't know what to say. Mm -hmm. The only thing I could do is tell my my friends because mm -hmm. I I have like a group of friends that wow. and uh, fu uh, funny enough or yes. likely enough, it's one of them is brilliant. Wow! Yeah. Oh. I shared with her and together with my friends, and I was like, mm -hmm. you 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 people should pray for me. Mm -hmm. I'm like facing a hard time, yes. but I know God will answer me. Mm -hmm. And I was just. I was just chilled. No mm -hmm. one could know mm -hmm. that I was going through something. Mm -hmm. But how God showed up in that time, I was like, indeed, this mm -hmm. verse is an inspiration to me. And I'm also urging you that it may be an inspiration to you. That even when you're going through the toughest time, yeah. let let us be gentle, let us be calm, mm -hmm. so that they may say, indeed, this one he's serving, he or she is serving a true God. Wow. Amen. That is Philippians chapter 4, verse 5. Amen. Let your gentleness be known to all men, men yeah. that the Lord is, is at hand. Amen. Very inspiring verse Amen. from Gesare. May God bless you so much Amen. that Amen. in our difficulties, yeah. we can actually claim a Bible promise. Yeah. And when we have faith in that, yeah. God will do wonders. Amen. Now to you, brilliant. I believe also you have a Bible promise that you yeah. can share with our viewers just to encourage us, please. Okay, my favorite Bible verse that is really encouraging to me is psalms chapter 84 verse 11. Mm -hmm. it talks about the lord god being a sun and a shield wow. he gives grace and glory Amen. and nothing good does he withhold from those whose work is upright mm -hmm. Amen. so well this verse has really proved to be a great blessing to me the moments that i feel like i am so low wow. the moments i feel like okay i can't go on mm -hmm. And that verse comes to me that the Lord God is a sun and a shield. Mm -hmm. And if we trust in him, for sure, mm -hmm. there is nothing good that he, with, he will withhold from us. Wow. Yeah, so it has really been a great blessing to me. Wow. Yeah. May God bless you so much also. Mm -hmm. This is very encouraging. Mm -hmm. You know, hearing your Bible promise mm -hmm. and uh, even the one you've shared from, uh, that is Psalm uh, 84 verse what? Mm -hmm. Verse 11. Uh, that the the Lord God is what a sun and a shield. A sun and a shield. Amen. What 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 shield are you looking for again? Mm -hmm. When we can have it in our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And so may this Bible promise, may this sharing, may these testimonies and stories that we have heard from our guest Gesare mm -hmm. and Brilliant mm -hmm. be an encouragement to you as well. Amen. That whatever you are going through. You know, sometimes we go through struggles as yeah. young people, as useful people. Yeah, true. That there is hope. Yeah. If God has led Gesal all through her journey up to this point, yeah. if God has led um, Brilliant all through her journey to this point, Amen. God can still also lead you. So Amen. what is it you're going through? Amen. Are you hopeless? Are you struggling to face um, uh, challenges? Are you having struggle in your transitions? Or whatever that you're going through, Amen. may you have hope in our lord jesus christ Amen. Amen. and i believe god will never forsake you Amen. all youths who will stand with god god will also stand with them Amen. so be encouraged be encouraged wherever you are in whatever you are doing allow god's hand to also be be in that which you are doing Amen. and may god bless you so much Amen. now uh Gesare, mm -hmm. uh apart from all that you have, we have shared mm -hmm. i believe you have some parting words or your conclusion what can you say uh, to the viewer that you can encourage them so that they can get up and face life? Uh, uh, to the youths out there, mm -hmm. I know it can be hard, mm -hmm. we can be facing a lot of challenges, but there's one thing uh, I, that has helped me during my time in the University of Eastern Af African Marathon mm -hmm. is having friends. Wow. Yeah, friends who uplift you when you are mm -hmm. low, they still pray for you. Uh, there's sometimes that you mm -hmm. can be feeling so low that you, you even the prayers you're praying, it's like a cry to God. Mm -hmm. But when the friends also mention you in prayer, mm -hmm. it's also uplifting to them. Wow. So all I can say is have friends who are mm -hmm. pulling you closer to God, mm -hmm. who are pulling you closer to be, to being the best of you. Wow. And that will really and truly help you in this life. 
Wow. Yeah. wow. You know, yeah. I, I've been listening to you and I've heard you talking about friends, friends, friends. Maybe yeah. our next, our next, uh, you know, uh, interview will be. Yeah. I, I love to hear something yeah. about your friends. Yeah. yeah. And you I, see, it reminds me that uh, yeah. um, uh, bad company yeah. rules good morals. Yeah, and we true. thank God for the good friends that Amen. he has been able to give you. Amen. And what about your brilliant? What are your parting shot, uh, your conclusion uh, that can encourage our viewers? Okay, I'd love to tell our viewers, uh, be it the youths out there mm -hmm. or even the elderly people, mm -hmm. okay, I'd like to encourage us all to just uh, have faith mm -hmm. and hope. There are some times when things mm -hmm. may not really go well, mm -hmm. mostly to the youths. We, we face a lot of challenges. Sure. In, the youth struggle with addictions, right. they struggle with uh, their social lives, mm -hmm. they struggle with their spiritual lives. Sure. But I'd love to encourage us all that the only way we can develop that fortitude of mind and character mm -hmm. is by living by the word of God. Mm -hmm. When we make it a habit to mm -hmm. daily study God's word and pray, mm -hmm. then for sure we will have that peace of mind Amen. in as much as we may live in a world where they all is just a mess Amen. but having that peace of mind mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. having the assurance that god is there for us is very good and also just as my friend said mm -hmm. having good friends mm -hmm. friends who can help you pray mm -hmm. who can lift you up when you're low mm -hmm. and also something very important is having big people who you can talk to sure. people who are like parents to you mm -hmm. you may not be having parents but big people who can mentor you can be very important yeah. Yeah. wow wow what an inspiring what an inspiring mm -hmm. and uh, uh you know i didn't know that you are friends uh, <laughs> but uh, i'm very happy to host friends two friends yeah. here at hope channel baraton this is the journey to ministry mm -hmm. and uh we would like to say we really appreciate mm -hmm. our viewers uh, we have had people watching from uh, United Kingdom mm -hmm. and most, uh, you know, uh, different parts of this continent mm -hmm. and uh, apart from Kenya, you know, and we are glad for the messages that you've been sending uh, that are encouraging that this program has uplifted you spiritually and it has given you hope. Mm -hmm. And so we really want to appreciate our guests, Gesare and Brilliant, mm -hmm. for accepting to come and be able to be part of the journey to ministry. Amen. And so all the youths out there, we like to say that uh, may God help you in your struggle. Amen. Don't give up in what you are doing. If you can go back to school, go to school. If you can go back to church, go back to church. If you can go back to prayer, start praying again. Start over again without giving up. Yeah. Because we have good role model even in the Bible who are leaders in their life and even in hard times they still remain trusting the Lord. People like Joseph Daniel and even Deborah now that we have ladies here yeah. and so may God bless you so much until next time this is our part one with Gesare and Brilliant on the Journey to Ministry program may God bless you so much you. now before we end because I've heard that uh, you have a very uh, close relationship with God and prayer has been a very, uh, they are, it, it has played a very major role in your, in your journey. Mm -hmm. I don't know, one of you can be able to pray for us. Is it brilliant? Is it Gesare? Yeah. Let, us, let brilliant pray. Let brilliant pray. <laughs> All right. Okay. Brilliant, please pray for us as we finish. Okay, let's believe and pray. Our Heavenly Father, mm -hmm. we come before you this time and moment, yeah. thanking you for this opportunity mm -hmm. of uh, sharing mm -hmm. with your children mm -hmm. uh, in the journey to ministry. Man. May you please let this program and session be a blessing to lives out there, mm -hmm. that lives may be transformed for your honor and glory. May you also continue helping us to grow into your likeness. For this I pray, trusting and believing in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.